Hey guys, Mike here with Racing Radios. Today we're going to go over how to install the software that allows you to reprogram your Bearcat 125 AT fan scanner that comes with all of our fan scanner packages. The very first thing you want to do is locate the programming cable that came with your scanner. It's going to plug one in into the side port on the scanner. The other end will plug into a USB connector on your computer. You'll see here that because the scanner is off, it's going to automatically go into charging mode. Next, you're going to want to open a web browser and navigate to racingradios.com slash fanscan. Here you'll find a download link for a zip folder that's going to contain the software, a user manual, and all of the frequency plugs for this year's races. Download the zip file. After you've downloaded the zip file with the programming software in it, we're going to need to unzip it. In order to unzip it, we're going to right click on it and select extract all. Extract these files to the desktop and then open the folder. And inside you'll find the code plugs and a setup file that's going to install the scanner programming software. I've already installed mine, but once the installation process is complete, you're going to want to locate the Bearcat logo on your desktop. This is a shortcut to the BC125AT programming software. Click on the software to open it up. The first thing we're going to want to do is back up the frequencies that are already in our scanner because the new uploads are going to erase everything that's on there. To do that, we're going to use the Read from Scanner button. Now, I'm getting this error because our scanner is still in charging mode. In order to get the scanner out of charging mode, simply power it up. As soon as it displays the first frequency, you know that you're ready to go. So now I'm going to make sure that the software is connected to the scanner. In order to do that, we're going to go over to Tools, Com Port Settings, and click Auto Detect. This allows the software to look for an attached scanner. Once you get the COM port is detected notice, we can confirm that the fan scanner software is connected to our scanner. Now we're in a position to back up the frequencies that are already in our scanner. In order to do that, we're going to click on the Read from Scanner button. This will download all the frequencies in our scanner to a save file for our computer. I'm going to click yes, then we're going to name our file something. For this instance, I'm going to call it old NASCAR file. Now we finished pulling all the data from the scanner into the software. Now we can click the save icon to make sure that those files are saved under the file name we chose for future reference. Now that we've backed up our scanner, we're ready to reprogram it with new frequencies. In this instance, I'm going to use the 2024 NASCAR series. In order to do that, first we need to import the new series code plug into the scanner software. File, open, BC125 NASCAR 2024. Now that this frequency list is loaded into the software, we can push it from the software into the scanner. This is done using the Write to Scanner button. You'll get a warning that the scanner will be erased, which is OK with us because we backed it up. Click OK. While the frequencies are being transferred, you'll get a keypad lockout notification on the face of the scanner. As soon as this notification disappears, you should see the first channel frequency appear on the surface of the scanner. Say OK. Now your scanner is showing the first frequency that was in the new frequency plug. Switching from series to series is just as simple. First we have to load the programming file into the software, then we push the programming file from the software to the scanner. So let's say we want to go to an IMSA race. 
file, open, BC125 IMSA 2024. Now that we've loaded the frequencies into the software, we can push them over to the scanner using the Write to Scanner button. Again, it will erase the old information. Once this process is complete, you're ready to go to an IMSA race. That's all on our video today for the Bearcat 125 AT programming software. Check us out at racingradios.com, follow us on our socials, and subscribe. In our next video, we're going to be going over how to manually program your scanner at the track from a scanner sheet when you don't have your computer handy. See you at the track. Three, two, one.